Hi everyone, just wanted to kick off the new year with a hello because we've been a bit radio silent for the last few weeks and that is purely down to it being the holidays and also I've discovered Cyberpunk 2077, so there's that. It's amazing, especially the 2.1 Phantom Liberty stuff. Ray trace it up the Yazoo, it's extraordinary. But we're kicking off the new year and we have another really exciting. Well, I think it's exciting and I hope you do too. List of things planned. And over the last year, one of the things I've been trying to do is get out more. So less sort of Zoom call style interviews, but getting on site to chat to people, just to see things. And last year we did that with going up to Duxford for the Hurricane exhibition. We did that with Hurricane Heritage where we went around there. And the difference between those two is me holding a video camera. So if you're checking out the YouTube version of this, or if you're on YouTube, hello. It's really just trying to get a little extra layer to the podcast and try to bring a little bit more visibility to what we're talking about. Because for a lot of people, you're not going to be able to go and sit in BE505, for example. So I want you to try to experience that with me. And hopefully, even if you're listening to the audio version, the excitement in my voice was pretty palatable through the cold I had, which was quite something. So that's going to be the plan. We have another trip planned for Arizona coming up in February. More details on that will be following soon. But what I'd like to hear from everybody is what would you like me to check out there? They've got over 400 aircraft and incredible staff, plus the 390th Bomb Group Museum as well. They'll be there and we want to go back to see them, check in with Dick as well, see how he's doing. Because the collection there and the stories that we can tell around those aircraft are really almost limitless. They've got phenomenal stuff. So head into the description here, check out their website and say, if you just want a quick video, we can go around and tell the history of the aircraft or some stories of it. I've done that with like the, the RB47 that they have. And sorry, it's an EB-47, is it? It's the electronics version. That's on, on the YouTubes. We can do things like that and add things in because we're going to be spoilt a lot in the first half of 2024 because we've got a rather big TV series coming as well. So with Masters of the Air dropping, we're going to be doing things around that, whether we like it or not. And I hope we do like it. And, you know, begging emails to Apple have been sent. So hopefully we'll be able to kick on with that. But I think it's exciting whenever we get aviation themed TV or movies. And it's been a bit hit and miss. I was a big fan of Devotion that came out the other year. Unfortunately, with everything that's happened with Jonathan Majors, that film now carries um, some additional baggage, which is a shame. So we hope with Elvis in a starring role, hello Austin, of Masters there, we're going to be able to see some, some amazing stuff. If you've not checked out my reaction video to the trailer, I'll put the link in the description as well. I'm, I'm excited for it. You know, we always have to have realistic expectations for these things going in. But we'll come back to 8th Air Force stuff in a second, because one of the things I want to re-energize as well is our Patreon members. We've got a little core group of people who've been supporting the pod for a long time now. And we're going to be expanding that out a bit. We're going to do planning some quarterly Zoom calls where we'll bring in a guest as well. That will just be for the Patreon people. You can make suggestions, give us feedback. We can chat about things and we'll see who wants to join us for that. And it's really just going to be able to have a free chat. We'll record it for the Patreon people who can't make it so that they'll can catch up later. But that will just be for them. Because being a damn castier, as he says, reaching over for a sticker, because, yeah, it's not a thing without a sticker. So here we go. You get one of those. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, I was bored one day. Anyways, you get a whole little gift pack of things, postcard for me saying thank you very much. If you can decipher my scroll, that is, I promise you it'll say thank you very much for your support. The Patreon side of things basically keeps things ticking over. And we do have some fantastic sponsors. We have a new sponsor that will be on our new episode, which is out hopefully next week. So do check them out once they drop because 
they're great. Now, one other thing I have kicking around, and I haven't really mentioned this too much, is maybe throwing in something I'm thinking of calling a grounded episode, which would be a short one in addition to the pods where we either talk to someone not aviation related, but about other things that might be of interest to you. Because I, I, you know, looking over here, that's on my 20th century section there. Not all of it's aviation. So maybe we can squeeze in the odd thing there. Talk to authors who've maybe done something else. I'm a big fan of spy thrillers and things. And um, yeah, maybe we could chat about spy thrillers. But that is separate to this. It's just an idea. Let me know what you think. Now, if you're interested in joining us on the damn Castiers side of things, that's just three quid a month. Join us on that. All of these ideas that I keep having up go to that group and people give me their feedback on it as to whether or not to pursue. If I don't get any responses from it, I figure that's probably not a good thing to do and we don't do it. But if you want to give some direct feedback to me and have some interaction on it, that's going to be the place to do it. It's just three pounds a month plus VAT at the bottom tier. All the tiers get the same sort of things. I'm going to be updating that as well. So you can support to your heart's content on that. And the other thing that I want to try to get going is the Discord channel, which never really took off just for the the small group we had on Patreon because we just chatted on Patreon. But I'd like to open that up to the world and make it a sort of place where AV geeks of all shapes and sizes can get together and chat plane related things. And I think it could be fun, especially with, say, Masters of the Air coming up, and I'll be able to share directly with people photos and little clips from Pima as well, because Discord's really, really good for that sort of thing. So I'll put some more stuff out about that shortly, but really I'm just trying to make sure we can all get engaged. You do not have to be a Patreon person for things like that. Send me your feedback, leave some comments, do all that sort of thing, because I've not planned a lot for 2024 because cyberpunk, but also because I'm excited to see what happens. We have got big anniversaries in this 80th anniversary year. What have we got? We've got D-Day, we've got Market Garden, we've got The Bulge, and then the end of next year beginning of next year, we have the 80th anniversary of Bodenplatt, which was the massive Luftwaffe attack. Now, I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot on that, mainly because there's other podcasts and things that have been teasing it for a while, more commercially viable podcasts, as John Conker <laughs> called, called it the other week. Um, and I think they'll probably do a better job. We might sneak some things in. We're definitely going to be doing some more stuff about the Troop Carrier Command, so keep your eyes peeled for that. But I'm going to try to find out other things. We do a lot of Second World War stuff and a lot of military, and I'd like to try to avoid... Avoid's probably not the right word. Really try doing something else. I'd love to do some more civil stuff, because that's where we all interact with aviation most often. And also there are big questions about the future of civil aviation, which is why we had Joe Wilding on a year ago to discuss what those possible futures are as well. So we'll have Joe back, see how his projects are going, but also have a look for different things. I'd like to talk to the Airlander guys, see how the new airships are progressing as well, because there is so much interesting stuff happening in that space. And it is slightly less depressing, because it is hard when you're constantly reading about death and destruction, which is ironic because I'm currently reading about death and destruction in the US Air Force's precision doctrine. And that's going to be episode in a couple of weeks. So watch this space. Now, we aren't going to ramble on for too long, but with Masters of the Air coming, I have a chance to celebrate a book that pure melodrama really is but it is one of the most cinematic books i've ever read and it is this one here which is called under an english heaven by robert radcliffe now it came out about 21 years ago now oh 22 years ago now and i remember when i had moved back to my parents following divorces and, and things like that i was ill and this was thrust at me now the cover is very chick lit. And I don't mean that in a derogatory sense, but it just was not what I needed. I was badgered by my dear departed mother to just read the first chapter. Now, to give you a little taster, chapter one begins like this. July 2nd, 
1943, from Milk Run to Bloodbath in half a second. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is about a fictional B-17 unit in Suffolk. And it's, yes, I'm going to come out and say it, very tropey and things. You've got the, <laughs> the thing opens up with the, um, uh, the evacuee boy from London with all his friends in the airport sees something horrible. You've got the English Rose who's waiting to hear back from her missing husband in Burma, all that sort of business. It's nothing that hasn't been done before. But Robert Radcliffe does it very, very well. And the the crew of Misbehaving Martha, which is the B-17 that they are trying to get through their 25 on in 1943, is beautifully well drawn. And the characters in it all stand out. And you've got the enigmatic captain, the rest of the crew getting over a tragedy on their first few missions as well. So it's it's a really, really good read. And you can pick it up for next to nothing on there. But it's one of those books that I dish out. Now, I'm waving it around at the moment, and it doesn't have its dust jacket on because it has been lent to so many people. I just got it back the other day, actually, that that has gone walkabout. But everybody has enjoyed it. And I'm offering it up to you guys here. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a link in the description to our bookshop as well. 10% every purchase goes to support the pod. There you go. Another plug. But it's incredibly cin cinematic. The aerial sequences in it are superb. And I'm a big fan of Robert Radcliffe's work. There's sort of three or four in this series that he wrote that all sort of center around dropping in and out of this little region of Suffolk. There's a church that pops up in all of his books. Um, I think the next one was about the Battle of River Plate. I um, can't remember what the third one was. Oh, the third one was, um, again, the Far East P-47s. But you had to grab that on Kindle because the publisher thought it was a bit bleak and it was. But given we've got, what, three weeks now, two, three weeks until Mass is the Air, if you need something to read, it's not heavy reading. It's, you know, 300 pages of novelly goodness. Give it a go and let me know what you think about it because I genuinely, genuinely love it. And even my wife enjoyed it, which is always a sign of good taste. So there we go. 2024 is going to be exciting. Again, want to be engaging with people. So please let me know what you're thinking. Leave some stars. Give me some comments. Let me know what you want to see this year. If you've got contacts for civil stuff that I don't have, let me know. If you've just got some fun contacts with people you want to see on the show, get in touch because we will get cracking with all of that. So we'll be back next week, hopefully. And I will drag myself away from Cyberpunk 2077, maybe, once I've uploaded this i might play an hour or two of it before dinner if i'm allowed we shall see until then thank you ever so much for your support like i said if you want your own sticker and there's bookmarks as well with the sort of logo on them as well bookmarks uh we've got you know other stickers there we've got even keychains now for the next few lucky people on patreon join us it's going to be a good time and i'm looking forward to the zoom calls because we've chatted a lot but we've never all got together and we're spread out from New Zealand to the West coast of the States and everywhere in between the long way around. So check that out. Links in the description. Thank you so much for listening and your patience for us being off. Blame CD project red and Keanu Reeves. What more can you say until next time? Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.